Here's why you should use your shoulder to draw instead of your wrist. Now this is something that mostly has to do with range of motion and line trajectories. First, when using our wrist, let's say this is our full range of motion. Even when making tiny wrist movements, it still comprises a big portion of that range of motion. But when using our shoulder, this is our range of motion, and small movements comprise a smaller percentage of it, meaning we can be a lot more accurate. Now in terms of trajectories, the wrist can only make small curved motions, whereas the shoulder can easily make curved and straight lines giving you more freedom of movement. And that's why the shoulder is important. 